Hey, what's up guys? I'm Rob Richards and this is the PowerTech Workbench Lever Gym. It's one of the most functional single station home gym lever systems ever created with one of the main features focused around this, these heavy duty isolateral lever arms which can safely hold up to 500 pounds. Another feature is this, the Workbench Bench. It can be set up for a range of different angles and positions including a variety of attachments that go right here including an arm curl, leg curl, leg press and pec fly machine. Speaking of exercises, the list of exercises is almost endless for the lever gym, especially considering the wide variety of accessories available for both the workbench and the lever gym. Let's take a closer look at some of the main features of the lever gym and workbench. First up, let's start with these heavy duty isolateral arms and the workbench. Starting with the bench, unlike most benches where they can increase up, flat and decline, we can also slide the bench forwards and back depending on what exercise you're performing on the lever gym. Let's demonstrate a basic bench press. So we're gonna unscrew the handle, slide the bench all the way forwards, and then the incline bench, we're gonna drop down to a flat like so. Now if you also wanted a decline or use the low row here, there's one level lower, giving you access to the low cable row here and ideal for any decline chest presses. Now that we have the bench set, let's take a look at how we maneuver the lever arms. Either keeping weight on or taking the weight completely off, we simply lift up the arm here. We have two handles, one for the position of the lever arms and the second top handle here determines whether we perform them isolateral or together. So far we have the top handle in, meaning both handles work at the same time. So now we have the arms and the bench set up in an ideal position for the bench press. If you wanted to change any angle of here, we have access to both the bench, incline, flat and decline, as well as the position of the lever arms. Seven different positions enabling you to go all the way down to the bottom, ideal for low rows, deadlifts, for shrugs. And then as we bring them up, a number of chest exercises, and as we increase up, incline chest and shoulders. Speaking of shoulders, let's take a look at how that setup would look. First, we bring the bench all the way up to almost an incline position. Then with the red handle, we're gonna slide the bench all the way back. Just like with the settings on the lever gym, we have five different settings on the bench from all the way forwards moving it back, making it ideal, depending on your height, that you can set the machine up for the exercise based around you and your body type. Also with the incline of the bench, there's eight different settings from a near upright, and as we go down, range of different inclines, flat, and one decline. So now let's change the position of the lever arms and set this up for an ideal shoulder press. So with this configuration, you can perform a shoulder press, either facing forwards or facing backwards, with both arms performing at the same time. If you want to change this for a unilateral, performing each arm independently, all we need to do is pull this handle out, hold it on the hook there, and now, as we can see, each arm functions independently from the other arm, giving a whole host of new variations to all of the standard exercises and many more. Now let's change our focus towards the top of the lever gym, specifically this high cable pulley. And for this one, I'm gonna change the bench back to our flat variety. So now with the bench in the flat position, we can change our thigh pad here, which gives us three different positions. Ideal if you're shorter or taller. And now in a seated position, have easy access with full arm stretch to our lat pull down. Right, so we've looked at chest, shoulders and a few back exercises, but there's one more back variation that is unique to this lever gym, and that revolves again around these heavy duty isolateral lever arms. Right now, I have them positioned in their lowest setting. I'm gonna take the bench up to a medium incline, like so, and simply by taking this handle back out, both lever arms functioning isolaterally, independent of each other. We have the bench positioned forwards, a mid incline, this is a perfect setup for performing low rows and really isolating and targeting your mid and lower sections of your back. Okay, so now let's remove the workbench and have a look at a number of exercises and variations and the setup 
of the lever gym without the bench. And for this, all we need to do is get down, unscrew this connecting section here, and simply lift up and wheel the bench away. With the workbench now detached, this gives us access to a number of different power moves based around these lever arms, particularly shrugs and rows. But check this out. By adding the squat bar, which comes with the lever gym, now gives us access to a variety of different exercises, including arm curls and a variety of different rows, both overhand and underhand. Also, don't forget, by removing our connecting pin there, it gives you access to the lever arms as an isolateral movement, both arms functioning independent, giving you even more variation to the exercises we've already mentioned. Now that we've changed the height of the lever arms and with the squat bar on, this is now ideal for performing squats, lunges, and calf raises, but it doesn't stop there. Because of the lever arm design, it allows us to stand much closer than we would during a typical conventional squat, meaning a lot less pressure is put through the lower back and you really are truly working the quads and the glutes more so than performing on that vertical axis. But that's not all. Remember that we can remove the squat bar here, change the height and connecting the isolateral bars both together and independently, allowing us to really stand here and get under heavy shoulder presses too. So now that we have the workbench detached and the lever arms set to their lowest position, this opens us up nicely to the lower cable pulley. And using the attachments that come with the lever gym, short bar, single handle, and our extension chain, This opens us up for a variety of additional exercises, including rows for the back, arm exercises with the short bar, arm curl, single arm curl, tricep kickback, even shoulders, upright rows, front raise, and also our rear delt single lateral raise, but it doesn't stop there. There's even more unique and specific exercises that you can create on here, including one for the glutes, a glute kickback. Just have to really use your imagination. So now let's put our focus back towards the top pulley on the lever gym. And for this one, I've already shown how we can perform a seated lat pull down, but now with the bench out the way, this gives us access to a whole host of other exercises, including a straight arm pull down. And by simply changing the handle over, we now have access to tricep push down, pull downs, overhead extension, and not only do we have access to the long bar, the short bar, but also the single handle opening us up for a number of exercises for unilateral, triceps, arms, including our abdominal high crunch cable. So there we have it. That is the Powertech Workbench Lever Gym System. For more information, head over to powertech.com or check in with your local dealer.